Hello everyone, greetings to you all. How was your service today? Today is Sunday, the seventh of seventh month. Hey, double perfection. How is your own going? My month, my week, my year of double perfection. I just want to say all glory and thanks to Almighty God. There is this topic today in church that was just amazing. As the pastor was preaching, he gave two PowerPoint. Those two PowerPoint that will help you and I. I said, I can't keep this alone. I need to come and share these words with you guys. There are two people in your life, in our lives, that the pastor said, you can never, ever do wrong to. That you shouldn't wrong them in any way. You shouldn't offend them. You shouldn't treat them in a nasty way. Who are these two people? Your spiritual guidance that God has placed over you, that looked after you, that take care of you, that that helps you to go into the right direction. You know, there are some people, they have spiritual father. I don't mean, I mean, real spiritual father. He said it as well. That will be there for you. That will tell you the way of the Lord. Bad or good, they will tell you how it is. Number one, it might be, also, it might be a prophetess, somebody, your spiritual guardian, he said. Then number two, number two that will surprise you guys is your destiny helper. That person who helped you when you were in distress, no matter how that distress was, that person that helped you, that person that gave you that tiny thing that when you needed it, it was like a million to you. You needed a hundred pounds. Now God has blessed you. So you now, what do you do for me? Ordinary hundred pounds. I beg you that you start throwing tantrums, start throwing words, you start saying things that does not make sense anymore. Let me tell you, God will not replace that helper for you ever, ever, ever. Because in everyone's life, it's good to recognize your destiny helper. When God sent one person to you to come and help you, you might be a billionaire, you might be a millionaire, you might be even poor. But God will send that person at that time of need. That person can be in your life for good. But if that person decides to live by himself, God will always send someone else to come and bless you. But if you're the one that chased that person away, it will be difficult to find another one like that. That's why some of you who has beaten the finger that fed you, and you see today, things are like, you know, for you. Things are not going the way they should be going. Things are not going the right direction. But things are just falling apart. This is my advice to you. Go back to your drawing board. Go on your knees and ask God for mercy. Go and ask God for mercy. Go and seek the face of the Lord. Tell God you got it wrong. Now you want, you've come back with your senses. You want to make it right. Anybody that blessed you with anything. Most of you come to our abroad years ago. You came years ago, years ago. Somebody picked you from the street. When you have your siblings here in this country, nobody picked you up. But a stranger picked you. Or somebody you don't even know of, somebody of somebody picked you up. Just a phone call. And ran to your rescue. Put you in their house. Sorted you out. Now God is blessing you. Guess what? You don't remember anymore. Because you don't remember the finger that fed you. You don't remember that person that put shutter on your head. You don't remember that person anymore. Or you as a man, you were zero, zero, zero. A woman lifted you up at that time you needed it. God used that woman to bless you, to remove tears from your face. Internally, physically, emotionally, Outwardly, God removed that tears using that destiny helper. Now, all you can say, or all you could say, what have you done for me? Guess what? That's why the Bible says it resist the pride. Those who feel too, ooh, ooh, God will resist you. Listen, are you that woman 
a man pay your school fees, a man sponsor you when you were nobody. You could not speak English. You could not even speak go or come. The man sponsored you. The man gave you everything. Your parents respected the man. But suddenly, now you can speak English. Now you speak the Queen's English. Now you speak any kind of English phonetic. Anyway, your vocabulary is they, they're on point. Now you see the man as nobody. But you forgot one thing. He denied himself to give you the right. Then tomorrow he said, he's not your class anymore. Are you a man? <laughs> this is going deep. A woman brought you to this country, United Kingdom, Italy, Spain, America, Canada, anywhere in the world, Australia. You were so loyal, 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 loyal. To the point that anything the woman does, it's perfect. But just because you want to come to the abroad. Now you are here. Now you've arrived. Now you will not be on the phone telling another woman, don't worry. It's just for some time. I'll come and join you. I'll cause problem. I'll make something happen. So that made the problem come from our side. So that made she for talk anyhow. So that make I for carry my bag. The Lord is watching you. Oh, you woman. Man now brought you and say, ah, I don't like the UK girls. I don't like the abroad girls. They don't respect. They don't do this. They want to rub shoulders. They you not carry your handbag. You not said, ah, your portfolio. You not go to Africa. Walk like junkie. Walk, 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 walk. You walk like day and night, like somebody who is running from eh, Iraq to Iran. After saving the money, you now go to Africa. You now went to pump. You now went to spray. K -k -k -k. Spray, 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 spray. You do everything for this woman and the family. You now marry the woman. The woman didn't see that your hand was strong, go. Because when you are going, you did manicure and pedicure. The woman didn't see that you were too short, you were ugly. The woman will not package herself. Get to the UK. She will, At the time she was in Nigeria, she was washing your mother's clothes with her bare hands. She was doing everything. If you even tell her, ah, my wife, come and sit down. He said, ah, mama, no, 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 I'm fine. Ah, no, I need to look after you. She will do everything. She didn't see no wrong on it. She was doing it diligently. But now she came to the UK. He now said to her, can you call and cook okra? He will not ask you. Hey, I'm so so okra. Now it's my cook. Now so so clean. Now it's my clean. I now say, oh, come on, go and start work. He will turn something else. Listen and listen carefully. Then you not carry your bag. You will not leave. You not say you don't like it. It doesn't have swag. Because when he came to Nigeria, he was having swag. Yeah, it's just work. Come back. Eat okra. Eat okra. Eat this. Eat this. Listen, my darling sister. <laughs> listen and listen very good. <laughs> Your pain <laughs> is at the next door. It's just waiting for you. It's just waiting for you. You think everything is going smoothly. You've done it. So, so what? Your pain will catch up on you. That's life. That is life. So I want to use this opportunity to say to you all, you who they do good for, you forget so soon. You forget easily. You think, ah, oh, you have a friend, nice friend who look good, who smell good, who has a little change, no owing say or whatever in anything. She works so hard. You now, because she's your friend, you now want to connect her to your brother, to your friend, anybody. You now arrange her to, eh? Milk the person. Milk the person because you know that your friend is a nice person. Listen. Your aunt. Your palava. <laughs> it's like this. Only God in heaven can take that pain away from you. So I've come to say to you, be careful of how you treat people. Because the man of God has preached today, he will use Bible verses. Don't ever, 
Don't ever, even you as a pastor in a church, woman, uh, prophetess or whatever, pastor's wife, don't treat members wrong. You remember when Anna went to Shiloh to pray? Her mouth was moving. She was drunk in the Holy Ghost. Even the pastor, the man of God, them walked up to her and said to her, what is wrong with you? What is happening? If that woman was not in the spirit, the man asked, he said, I was praying. I am praying. He said, are you sure? He said, I am praying. He said, as you have prayed, may the Lord answer your prayer. And she said, yes, she will come back with a testimony. And guess what? After nine months, she came back with a testimony. So shall it be for you who is seeking God faithfully. Sometimes it might not be easy. Sometimes it might not be like, you know, it might be difficult. But listen, this is a good news for you. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I say nobody. That man, that woman, that hold on to your thing that you are praying for for years, that refuses to give it to you. By law, you can go anywhere. You can go anything. You can do anything. It's not a sin. As long as you do it right. To get what belongs to you. Mm. Who can battle with my God? Who can battle with my God? Who can battle with Adi? I said nobody. Hallelujah. Love you all. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord watch over you all. May the Lord keep you all. That this week, today first Sunday of the month of July, the month of double perfection. May the Lord bless you all and make his face to shine upon you. Protect your children. Keep your children. Keep you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that you have asked God for, for this year, for this month, for this week, for years to come. May it come to pass before the end of this month. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord surprise you all. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you all. Anything that the enemy is holding against you. Wherever they are, east, west, north, south. Wherever they have hold you bound in your father's house. In your mother's house. Where you were married from. Or where you are married from. Or where your children live. Or where you live right now. May the Lord break loose of it. In the name of Jesus. At the end of all. All glory will be assigned unto the mighty God. In heaven, the creator of heaven and earth. Lord, we give you all the glory. Lord, we give you all the honor. Lord, we give you all the praise. May your name alone be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you all.